Masculinity by David Lancaster When a male develops in the womb, his mind is filled with an instinctive desire to become as grotesquely muscular and hairy as possible. But even with these qualities, can they truly call themselves masculine? What is masculinity? How can it be obtained? These are the questions that have troubled men for thousands of years, and to this day, many believe that they can't be answered. So what makes you masculine? Well, you see, that's a trick question. The answer, though disappointing, is very simple. You aren't. Don't be discouraged, though. Almost no one is. Masculinity is actually very, very rare. Masculinity is not a quality that can be obtained. In fact, the exact number of people who possess the quality is so negligible that the chance of anyone being born with masculinity is less than 0.00001%, or 1 in every 10 million births. And the majority of these are killed at birth by the extraordinary amounts of gamma radiation emitted by the hormone that produces masculinity. Though few humans are able to survive masculine birth, some do, and they are said to have been blessed by the gods. When they do, we are graced with the presence of men like Nick Offerman and Tom Schmid. So what do these men have in common? These men are believed to be spiritual descendants of a one Ambrose Burnside, the first man believed to possess masculinity, and the father of the sideburn. Ambrose's very spirit is believed to live on using men like Nick and Tom as vessels to pass on his seed, so that his masculine glory can live on. So can masculinity be faked, despite not being present? Yes, in fact, it can. One thing that is sure to grant the outward appearance of masculinity is the sideburn. Take Aaron Barrett, lead singer of the ska band Real Big Fish, for example. Without his sideburns, he resembles a smooth-skinned, smiling infant. But when he dons his impressive mutton chops, he becomes a guitar-playing, baritone-voiced lady killer. In the end, though, it doesn't really matter. Masculinity isn't needed because it can be faked. Whether you're short or tall, fat or thin, muscular or as frail as a dove, you can always appear masculine by not shaving the sides of your face. Sideburns are the only guaranteed way to ensure you pass on your genes, so you better start growing them.